Hey guys, it's Josh with Genie Bidet. I'm here today to show you how to install your brand new Genie Bidet, as well as to talk a little bit about the days, uh, dispel some of the myths, uh, you know, people get kind of freaked out on them, and uh, also show you how we can get this thing installed with uh, only two tools in under 10 minutes. Uh, when you open up the box, it's going to come with instructions. They're pretty clear on how to install, but we'll cover everything here. The parts, all the parts that you need, as well as the seat itself. This is the elongated model. This is for our elongated toilet. We also offer a round one. We'll cover that later. All right, first things first, guys. This is the adapter. This is what your bidet clicks into. Um, you're going to put these, the, the grips, down, and you're going to line it up as best as possible with the two holes in your toilet, and you want it scooted forward as far as possible. Next step, you're going to put in these metal brackets. These go in like that, and they line up with those holes as well. And then, you're going to put these screws in, just drop them in, and then you're going to put on these butterfly nuts. Now, uh, it does come with these anchors. These are only for if you don't have access to underneath your toilet to remove your seat. Um, it's not very common. It's really only one-piece toilets. Uh, don't use these if you have just a regular toilet. Use the butterfly nuts. They're just better. All you're going to do is just screw them in. So this is the T-connector we created. Um, uh, we've added a couple features to it over some of the older styles. Uh, the main one is the on-off switch. This allows you to turn water off from the source so that the bidet won't work once it's turned off. Uh, this is to help prevent things like, like kids, pets, gremlins from messing with your bidet, um, you know, getting water everywhere. Uh, it's just a nice feature. It was a highly requested one. Um, once you go to install this, make sure this black gasket is seated in there really nicely. Uh, it has to go in there, otherwise it won't function properly. And then some people will note that this is a, a plastic neck. Uh, we did that because most fill valves now on the toilet, on the tank itself, are also plastic. Just makes for a better uh, and connection that doesn't crush threads or anything like that. Uh, this is the pressure regulator. Uh, it's designed to uh, reduce the flow of the bidet, but if you're in a house that has low water pressure, you're probably going to want to remove it. In fact, most of our customers prefer to remove it. If you find that the bidet stream is too strong, you can always put it back in. But uh, we want you to get an effective clean, so just go ahead and take that out with some needle nose pliers, and you're all set. All right, guys, next step is to attach the hybrid T connector uh, to your toilet valve. Uh, it's really simple. Let's get this plastic top to make it easy. Uh, just make sure the black gasket's already in there. Uh, if not, it'll be in the bag. You'll just insert it in, make sure it's seated correctly. And you're just going to put it on. Uh, there's no need to tool tighten it. Um, we specifically made this plastic neck uh, with the nubs to grab, so you can just hand tighten it on. And once that's on, you're then going to connect uh, the, the flexible water valve. Um, yours is probably going to have a white top as well instead of a silver, but either way, it just connects to the bottom. And uh, if you do have a metal uh, water valve, you're going to want to um, you're going to want to tool tighten it. Um, but if you've got a plastic one, there's no need. And the last step is just to put on the bidet hose. And this one you're probably going to want to tool tighten. So the way you're going to do this is uh, get it, you know, tighten it down with your hands as much as possible. And then just take some pliers or a wrench and just give it an extra, you know, like quarter, half turn or something like that. And then it'll be on there. And now with the on off, down is on, sideways is off. Now it'll still let water into the tank, but it'll stop water from going into the bidet. You know, it'll stop those uh, pesky kids from bidetting your whole bathroom. All right, guys, uh, on to the last step. Uh, I have installed the water supply hose into the bidet. Uh, before putting it on the toilet. Uh, it just depends on the shape of your toilet. Sometimes it's easier to do one as opposed to the other. Um, I've also tightened down this bracket uh, so that it's very secure. So when I attach the bidet, the bracket's not going to move at all. And here's the installation. It's very complicated. Watch closely. And there we go. That is installed. Now, this is the cool part. When you want to clean this bidet, all you have to do is push the button on the side, slide it right off, and there you go. That's the button right there. 
just for your pleasure, uh, I'm going to give you a sneak peek on what the bidet looks like uh, in use. Now, I put down some plastic wrap just for the sake of not getting sprayed, and uh, we are going to slowly turn it up. So, as you can see, it starts pretty low, and then you can really crank it up if you want, like a really cleansing experience. Uh, and then you see that it drips down, that actually cleans the nozzles on the way back up. So it's kind of a cool feature. And uh, that's all, folks.